All right, fellas, I'm going to make this quick today because I ain't got no script or nothing. Uh, so recently, uh, a, an acquaintance of mine was working on something and they were doing like a rim lighting effect. If you don't know what rim lighting is, is it's basically like where the, the, there's like light that kind of wraps around the edge of a character. Uh, they were, were trying to get that effect. Uh, but in Adobe animate, it's kind of hard to do it. Uh, without also covering up, like, the black outlines of a character, like, if I zoom in here. And let's just real quick. Uh, so... Previously, I had done a tutorial on how to do rim lighting that involved making all of your animation into movie clips. Um, and then adding a drop shadow filter... And then hitting inner shadow, high quality, making the shadow like white or whatever color you want it to be. Uh, usually you want it to be transparent. And then just changing the distance or whatever. But this, again, covers the, you know, it makes the white outline invisible. Like, it covers it up. Especially... Like, if you want to do, like, a brighter color, like, let's say there's a really bright light behind them, so you, you turn off the transparency. I mean, you know, it, it is kind of... I mean, at the time it worked for me, but, like, now that I, you know, try to put a little bit more detail and effort into my cartoons, it just looks lazy. It looks like a... Uh, what, 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 it, what, what he described it as was, like, a cereal commercial. Um, so... Uh, what, in, 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 since then, I have, uh, kind of come up with a new way of doing it, um, which involves using Adobe After Effects, and when I made the original tutorial, I wanted to do it, like, I, the whole point was that you, you, you do it entirely in Flash, um, but since then, you know, using After Effects in conjunction with Flash has become kind of an integral part of my process, and, if you Adobe works in such a way now that if you are paying for Flash, you're usually already paying for After Effects. So I decided, what the hell, I'll go ahead and do a quick little tutorial on how I do the rim lighting effect now. So first thing we got to do is get this animation that we have right here. That that effect. We just gotta we gotta we gotta get that into a new file. I've already done that over here. Now, first things first, this involves exporting an SWF file uh, and then importing that into After Effects. Now, SWF files are normally, they're, they're vector files, which means that you can upscale them as much as you want and you won't lose any quality. But for some reason, probably performance reasons, in After Effects, when you import an SWF, it actually rasterizes it. And what that means is whatever resolution you've exported the SWF at, so the stage size, uh, that is the resolution that it will be in After Effects while you're working on it. So first thing we gotta do is we're gonna come over here, we're gonna hit scale content, and we're gonna upscale that to whatever you want. Now I export my cartoons in 4K, so we're gonna come down here, or we're actually gonna come up here, 3840, by 2160 that's 4k resolution obviously if you don't want to do that you can just do 1920 by 1080 that's 1080p you can do uh, 2560 by 1440 that's 1440p but i do 4k so 3840 by 2160 so then we just need to go to file Uh, export movie. This is uh, the folder from my Kakani tutorial. We're going to go ahead and put it in the same folder. And we are going to... We're just going to call this uh, Rimlight Tutorial. It doesn't really matter what we call it. .swf. Save. Now we are going to open After Effects. And again, if you... Adobe works in such a way that if you are paying for Adobe Animate, you are probably also paying for Adobe After Effects. So, 
go to your creative cloud and install it. Uh, trust me, it, you know, when, when I started using After Effects for things, it, like, my, my quality standard, like, went way up, like, way up. So, <laughs> we're just going to wait for this to open. All right, so this is After Effects. This is what the most recent version looks like. Uh, first things first, we are going to hit New Composition. Actually, we're going to hit New Composition from Footage. Okay, so New Composition from Footage, and then we're just going to come over to this SWF we just Im imported. And now we, we have our little uh, our little file. It's in 4K. And you can see if I zoom in, it's all pixelated because it rasterizes. So. Yep, that's our animation. No sound, because I didn't export it with the sound, but in After Effects, you're ordinarily not working with sound anyway. That's Adobe Premiere you want if you want sound. But... So, now we can add the rim light effect. So, first, we're going to come over here, and we're going to right-click it. We're going to go to Layer Styles. We're going to hit Inner Shadow, same as before. Our Blend Mode, we're going to select Overlay, Color, uh, I'm just going to make it white. Then we're going to up the distance a bit. So you can see. Uh, it is actually slightly affecting the lines because I'm not using black lines. Here, here I'm losing, using blue lines. But on black lines, uh, what... When, you, when you're using the overlay layer style, uh, black does not get affected by whatever color you're using. So if you if you have black outlines, it's a really good way to, to keep things, you know, looking crisp and clean and not like a serial commercial. <laughs> so, we, you know, we can even do other colors like orange. Let's get a little orange in here for like sunlight or whatever. You get the idea. Uh, depending on the color that it, so the caveat here, and this is something that maybe I'll have a better tutorial for later on, is that depending on the color, so blues and blacks, they don't really get affected by overlay lights all that much. What you could probably do... Yeah, see, but then that covers the outline. Although not to the same extent as it would otherwise. So we're going to stick with overlay. A little white light just for demonstration purposes. And then you can do all sorts of things to play with this. You can up the size, which is the blur level, basically. Get a little bit more of a smooth light. Uh, I don't know why that happened. You can change the distance, which is basically like shifting like where you want the, the lights to appear. You can... I don't know what some of these settings do. You can, you know, change the, the size, which is the blur. You can add noise if you want for, like, a more, like, airbrushed kind of look, I guess. You can do a lot of cool stuff with this. You can change the angle. Let's turn the noise off real quick so it's easier to see. You can change the angle so that it appears at whichever angle you want, although normally you would want it to appear opposite to where you, you have the shadows if you have any. What I normally do is I don't do this shot by shot. What I normally do is at the end of the cartoon, I export all the character animation as a separate SWF from the background animation, and then I layer them back together in After Effects, and then I bring that into Premiere and add the sound and whatever. 
But you can see you can do all sorts of things with this. We can actually, we can turn the blur off, we can bring the noise up. Do that. I mean, it looks like a... Uh, it kind of it kind of does look like a you know like an airbrush effect like you would see on like a cell or something or something like that. So I'm discovering that like as I'm doing it. So <laughs> so you can play around with this. You can use different blend modes if that is your thing. I believe soft light also does not affect outlines, or at least not dark outlines. That is uh, hard light does affect dark outlines. What I, I guess you could do, although that would probably be more work than it's worth, is exporting the outlines as a separate SWF, but I'm getting ahead of myself here. Point is, this is really easy to do in After Effects. Let's turn the noise back off. Really easy to do in After Effects. Really, you know, really helpful. Adds a lot of depth to things. And it's better than the stupid way that I used to do it before with movie clips and stuff. So, uh, yeah. Tell all your friends, this is this is how you do rim lighting. And, uh, yeah. Uh, I will see you again soon. Uh, probably with a cartoon next time, not with another tutorial. I'm sorry that there haven't been many cartoons, but it will be soon. I promise. I will see you around. Peace.